morning, good day, good evening, depending on the time that you'll be watching this video. My name is Saratlani Prudence Waralisola and I welcome you to my YouTube channel, Actually Living with Prudy. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. It is much appreciated. Yes, so today we are going to be doing a recommended video. So, uh, Joyce Titi. DD commented on my actual myths video I think that she wants to see this video so I'm assuming she's a she yes so this was a video that I was uh, planning on uploading the week before but I thought let me do a Pazavis video in, instead of doing this one then I'll do this one the following week then it happened that someone was actually looking for the video so yeah we are just going to talk about my high school subjects, uh, how I decided to do actuarial science and how I managed to get into actuarial science. Basically like just, yeah, just that. So I did seven subjects. Most people do seven subjects. I did seven subjects, uh, maths, physical sciences, life sciences, um, geography, <laughs> geography, speedy, home language, English file, um, life orientation. It's maths, it's physical sciences, it's life sciences, it's geography, life orientation, speedy, home language, and English first additional language. Those are the subjects that I did. So now most people think that when you want to do actuarial science, you need to do accounting. You need to take the subject accounting in high school. That's not true. I didn't take the accounting subject. And I know a lot of people who didn't take the accounting subject. So now to how I decided to do actuarial science. <laughs> okay. So in grade 10, Grade 10. Grade 10, I was all over the place, man. I wanted to do a lot of things. I wanted to do civil engineering. I wanted to do radiography. Like, I was just all over the place, Mijie. But then, after <laughs> the experience I had with life sciences, I decided, you know what? I don't want to do anything related to life sciences in the future. So I'm gonna do it in grade 10, grade 11, grade 12, that's fine. But after that, I do not want anything to do with life sciences. So anything and everything related to life sciences was out. That is your gynecology, doctor, everything, G, it was out. So now I was looking into engineering, like, should I do engineering? But then I realized, all right, no, man. Engineering isn't for me as well. I realized this in grade 11. Now I was stuck. I was like, okay, I'm approaching grade 12 and I don't know what the hell I'm going to do in varsity. <laughs> what am I going to study in varsity? Like, I'm stuck. But then I knew what I, I enjoy mathematics. I love mathematics. Then my physical science teacher of grade 11 told me about actual sciences. He was a new teacher, so he came to the class and he did that thing, you know, where you, a new teacher gets into the class for the first time, asks us to introduce ourselves, but he instead, after, blah, blah, blah. so after asking us to like say our names, we had to also speak out the career field that we want to get into after matric that's when i learned about actuarial science that's when i knew already there's something called actuarial sciences so from what he said he said it was a challenging course <laughs> a hard degree to obtain and i was like you know what this sounds interesting i'm up for a challenge so i did my research and i must say i fell in love so, yeah, grade 12, it was time to apply. Uh, 
I didn't apply for myself, by the way. So I don't remember what the requirements were at that time. But I do know that the requirements for applying, you need an A in mathematics. And depending on which university you're going to, you also need an A in English. Because I know UCT needs an A in English and UP doesn't need an A in English. So yeah, I, I, I had my brother apply for me. So he applied for me at three universities, Verts, uh, UCT and UP. Guess what I did? <laughs> so like most learners of my class applied for like different courses in different universities. Like um, when they applied for UP, say they applied for engineering and they applied for UCT and applied for medicine, they applied for words and they applied for something different. You get what I'm saying? But myself, in all three universities, my first choice was actuarial science. My second choice was applied mathematics in all three universities. Just because in J, well, main reason was that actuarial science is challenging. I was like, I can do this. I'm up for a challenge. It's challenging, you say then bring it on, bring it on. So yeah, main reasons for me to decide on applying for actuarial science. Challenging, uh, at that time, they said that actuaries are scarce. So there's a lot of employment, sorry. There's a lot of employment opportunities for actual science graduates. So I was like, what? There's a challenge up. And I'm gonna, I'm not going to struggle to get a job. That's a bonus. The biggest bonus I had with the actual sciences pays a lot. So I was like, bonus. Actual sciences is, and I applied for actual sciences in all three universities. What would have happened, guys? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, uh, my VERT application, I don't know, but something happened to my VERT application. I had a student number, and somehow I didn't apply on, I didn't appear, I didn't appear on their system. Like, how, how, how do you issue out a student number and then later on, I don't appear on your system. How? So that's how I didn't end up in birds. UCT. So UCT, when I was looking at my financial state, at, or rather my parents' financial state, at that state, at that time, number one, the budgetary that I had didn't uh, pay for everything. So it was like half. It paid for half of the things. So looking, comparing UCT costs and UP costs, I was like, no man, UCT is way too far. I'm going to have to book flights to go there, traveling expenses, accommodation. I'll be stuck in a place that I don't know and I'm not financially okay. A place that is far from home and I'm not financially okay. That's how I didn't end up in UCT. Hence. I ended up at the University of Pretoria and I must say I am enjoying myself at the University of Pretoria. So yeah, uh, NBT, okay. I'm not sure how NBT works right now, but uh, there's someone that I know or that I heard of, not know, that I heard of now. So they didn't like, get the, I'm not sure if it was math, they didn't get the A for math, but their MBT results were tops. So they took the MBT results as well as her metric results and she got, she got, she got accepted into the degree. And one other thing, if it happens that you don't qualify, like you don't, uh, 
guys score. You don't need the minimum requirements to get into actuarial science. There is an extended program for actuarial science at the University of Pretoria. I'm not sure of other universities though. So yeah, that's basically my story. Nothing fancy. So yeah, guys, like most people, I got into actuarial science because I had this much I had this money. And I wanted challenge, like I wanted something that was gonna give me challenge because like I was a competitive person back in high school. So yeah, that's basically it. Nothing much. Uh, but then as time went on, I started falling in love with actual science. I started learning more about actual science than when I was a first year. Yeah, um, I think on the next video, I'm going to talk about the UP syllabus and yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Do comment, guys. I would like to give a shout out to Joyce DD. Thank you so much for the recommendation. And thank you to all others who are commenting. commenting. Thank you to all of us who are commenting. Share it with people, guys, who would find this kind of videos useful and interesting. Please share and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> that was all from me on today's video. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed.